If the streets of Fort Wayne could talk, what kinds of stories would they tell us? Tales of adventurous Americans headed west? Stories of early settlers who established commerce? Or of the visionaries who built our city street by street? The treasured images assembled in this book, Historic Photos of Fort Wayne, tell us that and more with help from author Scott Bushnell. Downtown was commerce. You went downtown to see and you went downtown to be seen. Columbia Street is a ghost of its former self. It was once downtown's main thoroughfare, stretching along the Erie Canal all the way from Harrison Street to where the Three Rivers apartments now stand. Columbia Street was, was called the landing. If you were coming west, if you were venturing forth in your life, this would be the first thing that you saw in Fort Wayne. It was an ideal place to have a business. That's a pretty positive way of being introduced to a community. The bright lights of Fort Wayne attracted adventurers and entertainers. For $2 a night, you could stay at downtown's most recognizable landmark, the Randall Hotel, at the corner of Columbia and Harrison. We went down and pointed out and said, well, this is where Buffalo Bill Cody and his troop would stay. And they came to perform in Fort Wayne. And you'd look around and go, where? Where? Downtown became a juncture of travel and commerce for the Midwest, and the city's success was never more apparent than on Calhoun Street. It was a main path into and through the city, but it was pumping life into the community. Would you believe that Calhoun Street was once home to two piano stores only a few blocks apart? Pubs, hardware stores, dress shops, and more lined Calhoun, while agricultural products were sold at the bustling Bar Street Market. At its best, the Bar Street Market was three and a half blocks long. It's now much smaller, but Indiana summers still bring free trade to Bar Street. What is fascinating is to see how the market adapts and changes as the community changes. It's kind of a barometer of, of, of how successful it is. In the 1940s, downtown was bustling, full of trolley cars and big city department stores, like Wolf and Dessauer, The Grand Leader, and G.C. Murphy's. The old Inboyd Theater changed its name to the Embassy in 1952, and downtown was on the up and up. Fort Wayne was among the first cities to implement an emergency fire telephone number. Seen here, the Junior Chamber of Commerce painted sidewalks with reminders of the city's 119 number. Some things haven't changed. Downtown improvement efforts continue by the Downtown Improvement District, city government, and others. If history teaches us anything, it's that we can't stop change. And downtown Fort Wayne will always keep changing. But it remains the center of who we are and where we came from. And it's that sense of community that started the city of Fort Wayne hundreds of years ago. For Discover Downtown, I'm Carrie Houston.